fellow YouTube and Facebook friends. Ember Chelton here, and we're leaving Anchorage, heading to Bethel. Uh, this is exciting, leaving the road system, most remote place I've ever been. We're at Ted Stevens Airport, missed our flight, got the next one, but we have to wait a couple hours before leaving for Bethel. Um, sun's coming up. Oh, that looks awful. It's uh, more pink and, and, and yellow and stuff than what it shows there, but uh, uh, yep, here we are, and uh, we're going to leave soon, Karen. Hi. Oh, she's much prettier than I am. Stop. Yeah, thanks, Karen. She's excited. She just, uh, she just doesn't want to admit it. She's being too cool, too cool for uh, for Facebook. <laughs> so Bethel is this little teeny town out on the western coast of Alaska. Well, not the coast. It's uh, up the river. What, 20 miles, 40 miles up the river. Um, so it's not on the road system. You can't drive there. You have to fly in, go in there for court. Um, I don't know, it's sort of weird, um, it's a very remote sort of area, not a lot of services, uh, we had a hard time finding a hotel at the last minute, um, missed the flight, got another flight, uh, what else? Yeah, the camera is not so great at capturing, uh, capturing the sky and the light here. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, the mountains and the sunrise. I'm shooting a little bit of uh, time lapse video of it, so that'll be cool. We should have we should have set that up over here, but you can see uh, the city of Anchorage in the background a little bit there. in Bethel. We got Cusco cab and we're heading to the Cusco Clan Inn. It's our cab driver. What's, what's your name? My name is Ben. And you could give a shout out to your channel. What's uh, cab in Hell. That's Cab in Hell on YouTube. Uh, yeah. It's uh, filmed on the security camera up front. Thank you. Uh, as Dome, available on Amazon. Eighty-five dollars. Uh, I don't make a dime. Three hundred and sixty surveillance from your car in case the insurance companies don't believe you when you say that the Mercedes had the tail light out. Wait, Sixty-five miles. No, no, sixteen. Oh, only sixteen miles of road. And seventy-five cabs. Ro approximately, yeah. How many cabs per mile of road does that break down to? I've never figured it out. I'm bad at math. But it's in cab dispatches, you can hear. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, you're listening to Screaming Joe. I have him on my He's the first one I've heard. Uh, they're Albanians, Koreans, and old bastards like me that are in this com uh, company. Hey, can you today, Santa? Well, I first got here was in the very early 70s, and they told me, You're here too early. You're too darn young. Come back after you've ruined yourself everywhere else, completely failed. You can always make it here. It's the armpit of a life. Too far, too far. Too far, 12, 17, we together. All right, that's Taxi in Hell on YouTube. Yeah. Taxi in hell. It's going to be the next viral channel. <laughs> yeah, if I'll put more of them up. Some of them, see right there? Mm -hmm. You have been warned. Oh, that machine's really loud. I wonder what they're doing over there. If they're pumping in gas or pumping out something else. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the Cusca Quint Inn. Nobody's uh, banning the front desk. Uh, but we're here in Balmy. Bethel, Alaska, it's uh, uh, sweltering 39 degrees, so uh, everything's thawing out, which makes me wonder if there's even any land here, so there's these planks and stuff everywhere. Uh, everything's on stilt, so I'm worried about sinking or tsunami or something, but uh, I don't know. It's a nice day. It's not cold, so I don't mind waiting. About 10 minutes later, and we're still waiting outside the Cuscoquin uh, Inn, and um, yeah, that's that's the place right there. Uh, we talked to a woman on the phone, and she said she would pick us up in five minutes, and then kind of hung up. Uh, I'm wondering if she thinks she's supposed to be picking us up from the airport because uh, we told her we were flying in, but. Um, we never said we need a ride, we had the taxi. You saw the taxi driver, he was cool. Um, Mr. Barnes. And uh, yeah, so here we are. And we're waiting. Uh, but it's a nice day. I got my stupid hat on, if you like that. It's uh, being goofy, don't know what else to do. Um, well, so that didn't take too long. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, you know, the lady came from the front desk and checked into our hotel room. Beautiful hotel room. Um, with only slightly ripped curtains and only slightly uh, broken heat, but I think it'll keep us warm, so not too bad. And there's a view of the outside. So here is the view from our hotel room, the Cuscoquim Inn. Uh, it is very windy out. You can hear that wind. You can see the windmills blowing on the horizon. Um, you can see the airport over there um, off in the distance. Um, we are trying to get the internet to work. Um, but we failed miserably, uh, and, uh, yeah, Ember's about to go to court. There's tape on the bed frame. Duct. Duct tape. Um, Ember's about to go to court, because why not? What time is it? I don't know. Noon? Oh, something. Oh, I'm not going yet. Okay. Um, maybe we'll take a walk? No. Nah. It's too windy.
This is better than any pizza in Anchorage. <laughs> By far, the best pizza I've had in Alaska. So I'm standing on the steps of the Bethel Courthouse, I have court in a minute, uh, the town's behind me, sunrise, I just got a little bit of drone footage, uh, what's the town like, it's mostly uh, dirt roads that are in really bad shape right now, um, there's taxis everywhere, uh, the wind's pretty high, it's all flat, all the houses are built up on stilts, they look like modular or prefab homes, but of course I don't really know how they're built, that's just what they look like. Uh, they're all fairly small, uh, there's been a few exceptions. And there's big facilities that look like um, you know, modular office buildings and whatnot. This one has steel siding, this is the court, has steel siding all the way around. Um, yeah, they kind of look like industrial facilities. If you look around back here and come on and walk with me, you'll see that they have a uh, above ground uh, septic system, above ground uh, this doesn't appear to be working, but it's obviously what was once above ground septic, and that's everywhere. So the sewage system is all above ground here. Um, it's very sort of different. It's not as small or as rural as I expected. It seems like the city's pretty good size. I want to get to see a church later. Uh, maybe we'll get to do that. Um, but in the meantime, I got to go into court.